Well, here we go again on the Alan Osborne show. It's lawsuit time again. And the underlying theme is discrimination or sex. Yep, you know what it means, don't you, Boots? That's right. So let's get it on time again. And guess what? We're getting it on with Miss Hino. Hi, Dee. How you doing, girl? Anyway, let's talk about something before we jump into what could be going on there on the Alan Osborne show. But listen, people, <laughs> it's April 20th. It's 420. And I want you to know, I think all of us are sitting around, a lot of us, I'm not. I'm not at all, but a lot of people in America, a lot of you people out there who uh, don't believe conspiracies or aren't that worried and think everything's just going to work out no matter what, boy, I hope it works that way, but I want you guys to know out there, a lot of you are looking to government for answers, and the government's the problem. <laughs> So you're looking at the problem, hoping it will solve itself, and the problem likes what it's doing. You know, and this is all levels. It's not just county. It's state. And the federal government's awful right now. I mean, we're, we're, we're in the land of selective enforcement. Either, either the rules matter or they don't, and the laws matter, and it depends on who you're related to. It's awful. There, there's no sense of any order or discipline. Why would anybody live in fear of being an illegal immigrant in America? Because everybody knows they're here illegally. So if, if they know they don't even have to worry about being illegal at that, when they get here, what's the motivation for anybody that's illegal in this country to do legal things? Hell, they're here illegally. I'm telling you, government is the problem. And remember, our forefathers knew this bullshit because they came from overseas where they had to work for a family. Everybody answered to the king and queen until everybody said, see ya, sayonara. And they, and they hustled their butt over here and did awful things to the Indian people, okay, to the Native Americans. But that's how that rolled. But if we're waiting for government to come help us, we've got to tell them what to do. So that's why there's shows like me that goes, hey, stupid people, stop sleeping with the help. Start hi Stop hiring people based on their DNA and their last name. Hire them on their qualifications. Stop asking for a handout or some special treatment because of who you sleep with, what God you pray to, or what color you are. Ask people to pick you because your performance is excellent. That would be a good place to start. Remember the old Harbor Docks commercial? He said, where do you find fresh seafood? And I said, that'd be a good place to start. Well, people should start from within. If, if our government allowed, and then Walton County, they're allowing the developers to do all this stuff against the law and doing nothing about it. So why are they shocked that it's not working? The road through the forest will just be an excuse to break it worse. Because right now they're screaming they're going to have to stop. Well, damn, let's not give them another road or they'll never stop. And that's, that's how I see it. So y'all stop looking for the government to solve it. Start. We got to start telling the government, hey, stu stop that. That shit's stupid. Y'all quit that. Do something that, that's our money and our government and our constitution. How about just, just following that stuff and stepping into that? So here we go. It's lawsuit time, just like I predicted a while back and back in March. Remember when they canned old Didi and remember Trey's infamous words? Well, boys, looks like there's... $500 and some policy violations. Well, he didn't say that. But he said, boys, you know what we got to do. <laughs> and they fired him. The problem is, there's other employees doing far worse. And they had a long time to think about it. Here's the group that fired him. <laughs> These guys are going to go down as the biggest idiots in the world. Just like, this is... A <laughs> This, this is a lineup of idiots. This is the people that fired Miss Highnote. Now she sued the county. What all has she sued the county on? I want to make sure. And specifically, if you if you if you want me just to weed through all the bullshit for you, specifically, she has sued Boots, Barker, and Glidewell for violating basically her civil rights and treating her different. Now, what's strange is maybe it's not strange. Oh, that's stupid, eh? 
it's not strange, but well, I, you know, I'm just trying. To, it's not strange. It's really not. She did not name Tony Anderson. So Tony, does Tony manage to do, dodge the naked person uh, lawsuit? Even though that person worked in his office, right, Tony? That's amazing, Tony. You're like Teflon Don. And and then we got, you know, uh, Trey is not named in the lawsuit. And that makes no damn sense. Unless you understand something. That's where Dee Dee did not want to tread. And I'm sure Trey didn't want her treading. So we just leave them out and come after the three. So if I'm the Cormac, I'm telling all I know since Dee Dee's left the main culprit out of some of her stuff, which was Trey. Hey, Trey, you and Dee Dee didn't have nothing going on, did you? Hey, Dee Dee, look her, look her right in the eye. See her? <laughs> Dee Dee, you know that shit's going to come out in deposition. Well, let me tell you something. This lawsuit is a grenade. It backs up all the stuff, and it alludes to all these other things that are going on in the county, all these lies, falsehood, and selective enforcement and promotions and salaries based on who you know and what you know. It even talks about the difference in Stan Sunday's salary and Dee Dee's, who had the same title. It's like 40000 or something difference. And why was that? Well, you know, they can stand, but the backstory is on that one, is that Barker had been hitting on Stan's wife, is the way we understood it, at the Sheriff's Department. I mean, there was a history from this. This is all just horrible, horrible personality issues in our government instead of a professional organization, we have a club. <laughs> and it's a golf club that loses money too for you people monitoring that. So Dee Dee has sued and Boots, hey, Boots is in every lawsuit. Good job, Boots. Boots, you're in on it. You get in on all the stuff. Boots is in on every lawsuit. He'll be on some more. But so that's the deal, what's going on. So that Walton County is getting sued again, and let's get it on, I guess, volume three. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. You know, I'll just, I'll just say that strange stuff went through the county, you know, back in those days, and and the Fab Five were, were, were the problem with it, you know. It doesn't make any sense, like this guy. No sense at all. I mean, and the, and the three and Danny and Barker, they didn't call Commissioner Barker, but he's already quit. You know why? Because he knew he's going to be in this shit. Hey, the Phoenix Springs, are you going to permanently hire him now that Dee Dee's told all this stuff? What about you, Danny? Here's the thing about Danny Danny didn't have anything to do with these sexual escapades, but Danny knows all about them and he's helping cover them up, just like he does the sand dust and stuff. So good on Danny for being right in the middle of it and going along to fire stand. Oh, power tripping Danny. It's going to come. There's going to be some serious depositions coming up soon. And the only person that might can save him is his fan club of people like this. But Danny, didn't you tell us that we need, and you and Barker, we need to let y'all handle business. You've handled us all the way to a lawsuit. It's you fab three going on. And guess what else? Hey, it looks like they're almost about to pick an administrator. And who's it look like they're trying to pick? Oh, Mark Martin. Now, I called that a long time. And who is Mark? Well, the day of the Defeniac Springs election with Barker and Glidewell sitting up there, there was Mr. Mark. Damn, Alan Osborne must be a psychic. He pulled that guy out of the lineup of 12 or 15 people and said, this is the one they want. He's ready to go along with things, just like Uriah and the, and, and the economic development. Alliance, you know, the EDA picked somebody to run it who did not meet minimum qualifications. We have a theme going on here. It's a theme of idiots. It, 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 I mean, you, you can't pick people dumber than the people that are running on these committees and all these other stuff out here. I mean, it's, it's shameful. And it all started with the Fab Five. Now, now here's your notice. It, the Fab Four right now, Barker's gone and and uh, Donna's in there. You're all allowing the law to be broken right now. And Tony Anderson, this is you. You said you are sworn to uphold the law. Ordinance 89-09 is being violated. And I want all you commissioners to know that Matt Carpenter 
is telling you that Sandestin's in compliance when it's in substantial deviation in two categories. So that's what's going on in the Walton County News on April 20th. Listen, people, you can't make this shit up. Are you really waiting for these guys to solve your, well, now one of them's gone. Two of these are gone. I'm sorry. Well, we can go back and find one. You, you waiting for this guy to fix planning? Are you? He went, he went down like a freaking bag of hammers in that election, and rightfully so. Are you waiting for this guy to be the administrator, or are you waiting for them to get the ringer in there? This is what it looks like when they open the lawsuits in the, in the legal office when they come in. But who doesn't care? This guy, because he's getting rich off all of us. It's the penguin. And I'm Alan Osborne, and, and that's the way it was on April 20th, 2023 in Walton County. People, you can't make this shit up. This isn't coincidence. Tell the governor it's time for an audit. Uh, we need to get some people in here and do an investigation. State, state attorney, when you want the evidence of the felonies that have been committed, let us know. We'll give you a briefing at Edgewater, all right? You hit us up out there. Okay, State Representative Shane Abbott, what are you doing about this? Come on, people. Let's do something. And that's the way it is. Y'all keep them straight out there on the Alan Osborne Show. People can't keep themselves straight. I'll see you next time. You hear?